Hi, my name is Michelle and I'm the Employee Training and Development Manager here at Hospice of Southern Maine. Thank you for taking this time to spend with me to learn a little bit more about hospice. So what is hospice? Hospice is expert medical care to help people and their loved ones who face a life-limiting illness to live as well as possible for as long as possible, increasing their quality of life. We accomplish this using an interdisciplinary team approach to offer symptom and pain control, to promote comfort, to explore spiritual connections, to provide psychological support, to establish connections for the support of everyday life, to create the possibility of growth within the dying experience, and we also continue support for our loved ones throughout the bereavement period. Let's talk about the hospice team members. Each team member plays a crucial role in implementing your individualized hospice plan of care. The team consists of our medical director who is board certified in hospice and palliative medicine. He and your team work with your physician throughout your course of care. Our nurse practitioners serve as expert resources for our nurses both in the home program and at the Gosnell House, and they often perform recertification assessments under the direction of the medical director. The RNs provide direct care and education to our patients and families. They act as the case manager of the team to coordinate your individualized hospice care plan. Our social workers are all master's level prepared and help our patients navigate financial, safety, legal, and emotional concerns. Our chaplains are non-denominational and provide spiritual counseling and support according to your beliefs and preferences. They don't take the place of your current pastoral support, but are specially trained to provide additional support during this time in your life. Our hospice aides are available to help with personal care and are often the team member that you see the most. They're vital in communicating any changes they see or any needs that you have to the rest of the team. We also have volunteers who must attend a vigorous training before providing any services. They offer companionship, can provide transportation, or assist with administrative needs. And our bereavement services are a very important component of our hospice care. Our services do not end when our patients die. Bereavement counseling is available for our families for at least 13 months after their loved one's death. This allows us to be available for all the firsts, the first holiday, the first birthday, and the first anniversary. As a community supported organization, we offer our bereavement services to anyone in the area, regardless of whether their loved one was in our care. The Medicare Hospice Benefit offers different levels of care. Routine home care is the most common level of care. This is when the patient is generally stable and symptoms are adequately managed in the home. Home can be a house, an assisted living, or a long-term care facility. Anywhere that our patient calls home is where we go. Respite care is another level of care that provides temporary relief for a caregiver who's caring for their loved one. This isn't tied to patient symptoms or needs, but to caregiver needs. And this may be provided at the Gosnell House or at a partnered facility. General inpatient care is a more intense level of care for crisis-like symptoms that cannot be managed in the home. It's most often provided at the Gosnell House, but could also be provided at a partnered facility or hospital. This is intended as a short-term care benefit so that the patient can return home once the symptoms are managed. And then there's continuous home care, which is also a short-term level of care provided during a period of crisis to maintain the patient in the home. Care is predominantly provided by nurses for the palliation and management of acute symptoms. And this level of care is really rarely needed for Hospice of Southern Maine patients because acute symptoms are generally managed at the Gosnell House. Hospice benefit also includes medications related to your hospice illness, any medical supplies, or durable medical equipment such as a wheelchair, oxygen, 
hospital bed, or any item that you need. You may have heard the term palliative care and wondered what the difference is between palliative and hospice care. To put it simply, hospice care is a form of palliative care. So all hospice care is palliative care, but not all palliative care is hospice care. Both deliver care that's focused to provide symptom management and address emotional and spiritual needs for patients and their families. But some of the differences are that palliative care is for those with a chronic injury or a disease. It can be initiated at the time of diagnosis and continue throughout curative care efforts. Care may also continue indefinitely as long as there's a need. Hospice care is for those who are ready to live more comfortably and forgo treatment aimed at prolonging life. You still receive expert medical care that's provided by a team of professionals who specialize in managing pain and symptoms and who provide compassionate support of unique psychosocial and spiritual needs at this time in your life. Hospice care is initiated when a person is at end of life, meaning if the illness runs its course, would you or your physician be surprised if your loved one is no longer with us in six months? This doesn't mean that hospice care ends in six months. Care may continue if the condition warrants as determined through the recertification process. In addition, our care extends to our families for at least 13 months of bereavement services. How does hospice care work? Typically, a family member serves as the primary caregiver. Members of the hospice team make regular visits to the patient's home to assess the patient and to coordinate care with your physician and other team members. The hospice team develops a plan that meets each patient's individualized needs for pain management and symptom control while honoring the individual's requests. In order to support you and your family, our hospice team is available by phone 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Whenever there's a question or concern, you can call us. We'll answer your questions over the phone, but sometimes you just need a visit and we will make that visit to make sure that your needs are met. Who pays for hospice services? Medicare has a hospice benefit that you've earned Main Care also offers a hospice benefit that mirrors Medicare's benefit. And in the state of Maine, private insurances must offer the hospice benefit as well. Typically, there's no out-of-pocket expense for someone in hospice care. But most importantly, Hospice of Southern Maine will never turn away a patient regardless of their ability to pay. When is it time to consider Hospice of Southern Maine? When a person has been given a prognosis of six months or less to live, if the illness runs its normal course. Again, nobody can predict this, but Medicare uses this as a guideline. You may consider Hospice of Southern Maine if a person is rapidly declining despite medical treatment. You may see that they have less of an appetite, they've lost weight, they've become weaker, or are unable to perform activities of daily living. They may tire easily or sleep more. You may also consider it when a person is ready to live more comfortably and forgo treatments aimed at curing the disease in order to pursue comfort and quality end of life. So some questions that you might consider would be, what is the most important thing to me at this time in my life? Is it time to focus on comfort rather than cure? What brings me joy? How do I want to spend my life? How do I want to connect with family and friends? Or what support and care do I need? Although Medicare requires the same basic services of all hospices, there are differences from one provider to the next. So why Hospice of Southern Maine? Because we are the experts. Hospice is all we do. Our clinicians are highly trained, compassionate experts in pain and symptom management who have their patients' comfort as their highest priority.
Many of our staff demonstrate that commitment by obtaining hospice certification to help improve our patient outcomes. Hospice of Southern Maine was created as a result of community organizations and community members who identified the need for hospice in Southern Maine. We are the region's only nonprofit organization dedicated exclusively to end-of-life care. The Gosnell Memorial House is Southern Maine's only dedicated inpatient facility. It has a warm, homey feeling where each patient has their own private room. We at Hospice of Southern Maine are committed to the support and care of our community, our patients, and their families. But don't take our word for it. Medicare lets you compare hospices in your area by posting survey results from patients' family members about their hospice care experience. You'll find that Hospice of Southern Maine's ratings demonstrate excellent satisfaction in all categories. The website is medicare.gov forward slash Hospice Compare. How do you begin hospice services? Anyone can make a referral to hospice. When you call us, we take care of the details. We'll call your physician. We'll have a nurse come to your home to perform an assessment and provide education. Hospice care and services can begin as soon as the consent form and other required documents are signed. Call us at 207-289-3649 or visit us at our website at hospiceofsouthernmaine.org. The earlier you contact Hospice of Southern Maine, the sooner pain and other symptoms can be brought under control. In fact, people often tell us they wish they had called us sooner. And remember, calling Hospice of Southern Maine doesn't mean that you're giving up, it means you're taking charge. Thank you.